But the one thing that separates the good ones from the average, when you got speed, when you got technique, when you got hands, do you have that dog in you? Davin has that dog, and that's the best way to describe it. Out of all the linebackers in college football, you know, they, they only invited, like, I think 38. So that's a small, very small, you know, percentage. Um, and that just puts, you know what I'm saying, everything in perspective. Nobody remember losers. Um, so uh, all the seniors got together and we decided to, you know, come back for something bigger than us. Wimbush hit, lost the ball. Who's got it? Still free. Georgia looks like they've got it on the bottom of the pile. Bellamy with the hit. Carter in there looking for the recovery. Georgia ball. Ball game. That was kind of new attitude we had this year. You know, we wanted to be the we wanted to be the hunters, as Coach Smart called it, not you know the hunting. So that talking trash and all that in Georgia. Now you ain't doing that here. You know what made that team so special, man? Is uh, you know we were a family, uh, on and off the field, um, and uh, you know, I was kind of the oldest. Well, one of the oldest on the team. So a lot of those guys became my little brothers. I wear my, I wear my emotions on my sleeves. Um, you know, the guys always tell you, man, I'm, 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 I'm very emotional. You know, I led the pregame speeches, like every game. And um, just trying to put some of my passion into the other guys. You know, um, so I did that a lot, you know, before the game. And even on uh, on senior night, you know, I kind of got teared up a little bit talking to my guys. Just a speed rush by Bellamy. He's got the best get off of any of their defensive linemen, outside linebackers, outside up top, coming speed rush against Mike McGlinchey, your best offensive lineman. Little club move around the corner and speed around the edge. The ball is loose and on the ground, and that's the ball game. And Carter on the bottom of the pile. And McGlinch is a terrific offensive lineman. Had a tough night with the speed rush of those two guys. Bellamy. Dad was going to transition well to the next level. He's very coachable, and you got to have a, a learnable mindset when you go into the National Football League. He works really hard. He works on his leverage. He, he works on his hands. He's working on pass rush. He's working on pro day. And I think Davin has a, a bright future in the NFL. He's great size. He's got great speed. Coach Rick, you know, uh, of course, him and Coach Moore have two different personalities. Like It's like night and day. Um, but you can learn something from everyone, and uh, especially two great, two great coaches like that. Um, you know, Mark Rick kind of taught you how to, you know what I'm saying, be a honest man, um, morals, you know, just carrying yourself the right way. And that's what a lot of young guys need coming into a school like Georgia at 18, 19 years old. You know what I'm saying? Like, I needed that. I've calmed down a lot. Um, and then you got the Coach Smart, who he teaches you how to work. You know, you, uh, before you got there, you know, everybody think they're working hard. Everybody think they're grinding. But it's always another level you can go to. And he definitely took us to a level where we wasn't used to. And that first year, you know, um, that first year we had to get had to get used to it and that second year you know what I'm saying he was there all the guys knew how to work we knew what he expected and it took our game to the next level that team definitely had a different relationship and those coaches took me to another level mentally um, in a way to approach the game and it made me a better player so um, 
with all, with all the with all the relationships that I made with those guys and just being so grateful for the coaches I had. Um, I always stay in touch with them.